Okay, so I went to Poland with Kevin and his roommate Oleg on Thursday the 18th, and I'm going to talk about my trip. So we leave Frankfurt at 6.45 on the train. We head towards Poznan, which is a city in Poland, and we take a fast train there, and it takes about um, to like an hour and a half to get there. Um, not too long. And we go there because we had to make a connection to get to Krakow. Um, and so we get to Poznan and then we have a couple hours until the next train comes at midnight. And um, just one thing about the Polish trains, definitely not as nice as the German trains. Um, they're a little bit older and they weren't quite as comfortable, like they didn't, I don't know, not as comfortable as ride. And uh, one thing, like, they're kind of set up like a Hogwarts uh, train, so I felt like I was in Harry Potter because they had like the the rooms with the, the door you could close and then there's like, you'd sit facing another row of people, so I, I kind of felt like Harry Potter for a little bit and a couple times I brought there's like a lady that came with some food and snacks and coffee and tea and stuff, so it really kind of reminded me of Harry Potter uh, which was kind of cool. Um, so from Poznan to Krakow it's like a seven hour train ride. Um, so we arrive in Krakow Friday the 19th at 8 a.m. And first thing we do is check into the hostel, of course. And when we're walking through the station before we get to the hostel, actually there's this guy that was um, wanting to take us to Auschwitz. And he's like, oh, you want to go to Auschwitz? Like, I can take you there. If we go now, um, you won't have to pay anything. And it's cheaper if I... And it'd be, he said it'd be cheaper if we went with him rather than taking a train. But obviously he was real sketchy. Like he also, he's like, look, I can talk in Polish. And he tar starts talking in Polish to Oleg. Then he's like, oh, you want me to speak in Spanish? You want me to speak in the Portuguese? Like it was so obvious he was trying to rip us off. Like it was, it was terrible. <laughs> um, so we drop our stuff off and then we actually take the train to Auschwitz. What, which was a bad choice because it took like two hours and it was kind of really weird taking a train there. <laughs> um, so we take a tour of both uh, Auschwitz and Birkenau, um, which is both camps. They are a little, little ways apart. We took a bus in between that took like 10 minutes. So um, yeah, then after we visit there, we take a, we actually take the bus back to um, Krakow, which took like one hour, which was much better. Um, and pretty much all we do for the rest of the day was we go out and ate some Polish food, I had some pierogies. Um, Saturday, just wake up and walk around Krakow and have a, we have a super good lunch. We eat like um, some soup, uh, the entree and a beer for like five euro or like six dollars. Super cheap, super good. Um, after we eat that, we go see the castle and um, just hang out around the castle for a little bit, walk around it, and then we eat some pierogies for uh, dinner, and then uh, we pretty much head back at 12.45 a.m. Saturday, the 20th in the morning, so um, it was a pretty uh, quick trip, like we didn't really know for sure we'd go until um, like Thursday before we left, so it was pretty good. Um, just a few things I wanted to talk about. Um, Auschwitz, like, visiting that was pretty crazy. Like, you learn about all the crazy stuff that happens in school, and then, like, you actually, you are, you're like, you're actually there? It's like, what? I never thought I'd be there, really. I mean, I knew I wanted to go when I got here, but you never think when you learn that terrible stuff, like, it was reality, but, like, you get there and it's reality. It's crazy. Um, seeing, like, the tracks that went straight into Burke now, like, they got there and then they're either, they're separated by men and women and if they weren't healthy enough, they're taken farther down the tracks to um, the, the gas chambers and there's two huge gas chambers that um, could fit like 2,000 people in at once and they're just doing that, you know, over and over again and uh, the Germans like destroyed all the stuff so after, after the Soviets were coming to hide what they were doing, but the rubble was still there of like, um, the gas chambers and some of the buildings were still standing. Um, 
it was just pretty crazy. Like that place was huge. Like you can't, the size of the place is really surprising because um, I think there's like 90,000 people there and like 2,000 guards, they said, living at the camps at once. And it's just a big place. It's just kind of freaky. Um, so the craziest thing I really saw there was they had a room. They had a lot of stuff that they had taken from the Jews and kept for other things. But one of the craziest things I saw was like there was a room full of hair, which I couldn't take pictures, I couldn't video. And they had just a glass and it was full of hair on the other side of this glass. Um, because I'd shaved the people before they did anything else with them to make them feel like less of a human, to make everyone look the same. So they had all this hair, just huge piles, like 10 feet tall and across this entire room. And they also had clothes. They were making clothes out of the hair. They were making mattresses and blankets and pillows and stuff out of human hair. Like that's, it's messed up. That made me sick. Like, uh, it's crazy how that little room, little place can like freak you out so much, but oh my gosh, that was crazy. Um, and as far as Krakow, the, it's, a, it's a really nice city. Like I wish I hadn't, I wish I had more time to spend in both uh, Krak like the concentration camps and the Krakow because um, Krakow was older too and um, the architecture was different. Uh, than any other place it had its old town square was really big bigger compared to um, Prague's or something it was just it was really big um, and one surprising thing the women in Poland were like really beautiful like surprisingly almost everyone was like pretty kind of crazy thing to note um, also in castle the in crack of a castle was really cool because it had like a, a wall around it um, which compared to some of the other ones it was really cool to see that and it was it was also um, built a little differently um, and just some random things about Poland like their average income is lower so um, you don't see it quite as nice as cars and quite as nice as like buildings and fancy modern stuff going around and every time I'm in Poland, like, it always feels like a gritty kind of, um, not a really dangerous place, but I don't know, I feel a little less safe than I do anywhere else, um, which is kind of weird. And uh, it's also kind of strange, like, how, how much more comfortable I felt, like, I feel in Germany, just because the little German I know is, is more than the... the, the Polish cuss word I know, then the Polish cheers and thank you in Polish. So, um, yeah, and you, I mean, you, we only heard Polish and English just by like random people walking by, but still like very few people, um, surprising than any other place. Uh, yeah, so I, I definitely recommend going to Poland, but, um, honestly it wasn't my favorite place, but it still is really nice. It's definitely a place to check out and a place to visit if you're ever in Europe. Um, so yeah, uh, this is like my last week here in Frankfurt. So I think I'm gonna make like quite a few vlogs today and just make talk about some other stuff too. So um, yeah, thanks for watching.